Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run of this week's Featured Master Nightfall, which is the Glassway. I'm doing it on Sentinel Titan. You can see my fragments and aspects here. Uh, I'm using Osteo Striga for overloads, a Wolf Tone Draw Bow for barriers, and Threaded Needle as my heavy. I've got the Chest of Innermost Light on, which will help me to get my abilities back faster. Use my barricade, increase the rate uh, that my grenade spawns, and vice versa. Use my grenade, increase the regeneration speed of my my uh, my my barricade. So as you can see there, I've got linear fusion rifle uh, scavenger and linear fusion rifle finder. Uh, I'm running a, a a well well of light build. You you can see here uh, all the mods I'm using. Uh, I've got a mod on my leg armor that if I pick up orbs of light, uh, I start health regeneration. And on the helmet, I've got kinetic siphon, so double kills with the osteo will produce an orb. So it's just another way to get health back because the big modifier on here is togetherness. So every solo player's dream is to come into a master nightfall and not get health back unless you're with someone else. So after running the GM, I have to say this, this was a little bit of a walk in the park almost when i say walk in the park it's not super easy but it was a lot easier goes without saying so i'm going to use the osteo just to kind of get the melt on now because you apply burn when you hit an enemy uh the cool thing about uh the osteo is you don't have to shoot these kind of little lads you don't have to shoot them until they die the burn will finish them and then it will spread uh it will spread its burn uh, the Titan, one of the things I've got on the Titan is uh, melee kills start health regeneration. So if I throw my disc and I get a kill with it, I'll immediately start regenerating my health. Which is cool that that's not affected, uh, it's not affected by togetherness. So again, ranged attack on all of this. The big worry in here, or, or the thing you really need to worry about, bar the champions, but that goes without saying is always going to be the Vandals. Right? Even though the burn is void, and it's one of the problems I've got with this uh, this strike, is the whole strike has fallen until you get to the, the boss, and then it's all, it's all Vex. And that's where all your void is, so you're not setting yourself up normally to withstand arc damage. That Vandal nearly always runs, and you can always take him from here. So... Move on, this is where we get our second overload, we've already had our first, so we're going to get a second overload champion here, but we're also going to get a whole a whole slew of these wretches. I kind of stay up here, because if you go down from this, this platform, I stay up here, because that will activate the next wave of ads, in which you'll get a barrier, you get a barrier, he's going to immediately uh, start shielding the, the overload. So, the overload will kind of do this. Uh, Osteo will stop him eventually. You can see there. So he's moved over there. I'm just going to toss a grenade. And then two sh two shots really is all that's needed of Osteo's on him and the grenades on him. But uh, I just wanted to finish him off. You see there I picked up an orb. And uh, I picked the orb up and it gave started my health regeneration immediately. Now I'm just going to kind of try and finish some of these ads. Even though they're kind of smaller ads, you are in a master. Just punch him, it starts my health regeneration. And unfortunately, the, the champion shot at me and stopped that health regeneration. It's not like some of the other uh, things that you might think, like uh, attrition. It will start health regeneration, but it's not a health regeneration buff. It's not going to keep regen regardless of how much health you, you've got. So another thing worthwhile mentioning is... And again, it's something I've seen in comments and people struggling to stop champions with, with bows and stuff. If you've got a, a major spec on your bow, it's a two burst. It's a two hit to break the shield. If you've got a minor spec to deal with the adds, then it will be a three. But also, the other thing worthwhile mentioning is... Uh, now, excuse me for being... Uh, not as learned in, the, in this situation as I would like. I'll just toss that over there and hopefully it grabs him enough that he comes back. No, it didn't. So I've got another barricade and you'll see here, you'll see how much 
how much uh, it increases my grenade. Quite considerably. In fact, I've got my grenade back. So now I'm going to use the Strieger. Try and put damage on him from here. You see there, I was getting the yellow numbers. And if you land a ton of shots on that that uh, overload, uh, it, that's what starts the burn. I should get him here. He's close enough for me to get. There we go. Now I'll just toss a grenade on him and get some some uh, some threaded needle on him. Yeah. Uh, I don't know the exact numbers, but talking about the bows, kinetic bows do a ton more damage than energy bows. Now, I don't know how much at 10%, because kinetic weapons do more damage than than energy weapons, because energy weapons have the the ability to break shields or to, to compensate uh, primary weapons get get a buff. So, I wanted, I wanted to finish him with the osteo. So, major spec on a kinetic weapon, and your first shot could very well take three quarters of the shield. Even on Grandmaster, it'd definitely be just over half. So, what we're going to do is melt him. I'm going to throw a grenade up there. Now, the barrier's coming from up there, which it's 50-50 where the barrier comes from, to be fair. So, now I'm just going to break the barrier shield, and then what I'm going to do is hopefully uh, put enough burn on the on the boss, that it, when you can see that he's put his shield back up, that doing damage, I was hoping I would spread the burn, so what we're going to do is get the boss back to shield. I want I want this other guy. Because if you can show your face to the other ads, they'll come hunting you. Unfortunately, he didn't. So now I'll break his shield. And now I'm going to kill him, and I think, I think the burn finished the the vandal i seen his his uh death appear on the screen uh so again i'm, I'm moving a little bit quickly playing a, a lot more aggressively you can do that on the titan because the titan has so many ways to get health back i've got a bubble and i haven't used it yet the bubble will give me protection i'm constantly getting my my uh barricades back so you can see here I've thrown a grenade I that grenade got empowered I want rid of the champion and there we go that's that's the overload champion gone so now I'm just being sniped and I'm just trying to get shots off in between their snipes so I've got another barrier I'll throw my melee and that starts health health regeneration and now just make sure I've took out all the vandals because the Vandals, as I've already said, the Vandals are the problem. Right, so that should be just about all the ads gone. So we'll just put this barrier down here. Boss completely missed, but you can see he'll, he'll be regular sniping. You've got enough time to go in and out from this barrier uh, in between his snipes. And you can see the threaded needle. I'm not going to use any more. Threaded Needle does its job. So, I stay here. Don't go past the pillar. That pillar I was behind. Because if you do, you can activate the barrier in the next wave of ads. So, now I'm just going to get the melt on the boss. Try and get rid of him straight away. <laughs> That's pretty straight away. Now, we're going to use the Osteo and try and produce a few orbs. Just help me get my health back. You can see how easily they eat through the smaller ads. And they eat through shields as well. Although I'm not saying that they're absolutely outstanding against shields. Now you'll see, I put my bubble down. I put my bubble down so I could pick up the orbs to get my health back. Now, I didn't feel like I was going to need my bubble again before. Uh, before really at the earliest where the plate capturing section with all the Vex milk. That was the, the earliest I thought I was going to need my bubble back. So... As you can see, I think it's like 8 minutes 40 and we're, we're two thirds through this. Not time wise, because the boss takes a lot longer than anywhere else. The boss was really my my uh, inspiration for the build. Because you're not getting your health back. 50% additional void burn. Tons of void at the boss. Not so much cover. 
So I had to find a way uh, to safely be able to do mass mass damage. And uh, I've done the glassway, if you, if you look at the channel, I've done the glassway a few times. Uh, I've never used this strategy at the glassway. I, I like it, if I'm being honest. Uh, I like the strategy I used. So, would I use it again? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, I'm not going to tell you what I've done. I'm, I'm hoping you guys are going to guess. Uh, maybe by now what I'm going to do. But, uh, I'm going to hide. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm, I'm not. Well, kind of. I, I'm, I'm going to find cover and I'm going to do my damage from a good piece of cover. So, no, another overload. So, we'll just finish him. You've got to watch out for the snipers over the other side. Which is why I've moved over this side. Get a bit more cover from their shots because, again, they're, they're, they're the problem. So, now that we've took, took them down, or now that we've took him down, come up here and there's going to be four vandals. See there, I only really have to do a couple of shots to get the kill. I'm trying to produce orbs so I can jump across. And then get my health back. And now I'll, I, I don't have a grenade. So I'm just backing away. I'll put my barrier down so I get a grenade. I'm just going to see if the, how good the osteo is. But the snipers up the back there, they always tag me. I always get tagged off these two boys. So we, we killed one. I've got the stop on the, the, the overload. Now I've decided... And it was a bad idea. I decided, because that sniper came out there, I decided, ah, I'll just go for it. And it could have died here as well. I just didn't want to put my barricade down. Make sure... I'm just going to get a finisher if I can. Make sure... you In situations like that, just always put your barrier down. It's just... It's just easier. Stick your barrier down, get that overshield, get that regener regenerating overshield. And... And it's all good. Now, we're at the plate section. I, I've got such weird names for all these sections. What is this? What is this sec? Pre objective complete. Let's have a look at this section. New objective. Drain the radio layer. So I'm at the plate section. <laughs> I think I'll just stick with that. I think that's why I make my own names up for the sections. Because they're, they're, theirs are like oh, long and boring. You see there I went on. We got the plate to 2% and I got two shanks from each side. Once the plate gets to about 11%, you'll see a bit of red come up and you'll get ones from the left-hand side. You might... You might... You might get away with getting off at about 10, but once you get back on, that starts the rotation of right, left, right, left, right, left. The only time they come from both sides at the same time are the exploders. Then you'll then then you'll get two from the left, two from the right, two from the left, two from the right, but at the, at the same time, like there isn't. So I always take one side first. It's not like you get to take one side and then wait. And then once you take these shanks down, you're gonna get uh, four four uh, drag drop down in uh, in front of this plate uh, just to our right. Four from the left, four from the right, and an overload champion. You see there, there's where Exploders, and there's an, the next two. They come just about at the same time. The right-hand side, once I take the left-hand side, the right-hand side, the first one will be dropped down. I'll wait until the second one kind of gets to the same level. But you see here? Well, normally I do. I normally wait till they get to the same level. Because if you kill the first one when the second one is on the same level... It, the explosion will kill the second one as well. I think I'd done that for the first, the first, uh, the first set of exploders. This bow, the wolf tone draw, it will kill. Let's just see if we can stop him without having to put a barricade up. There we go. Toss a grenade on him. I've got heavy there, and we'll just get the melt on him. Now you can see there. I I because I didn't realise they were up. Now I can put my bar barricade up. The vandals, the first wave of vandals had already spawned in. Let's see if we can get some melt going. It's for an orb, you see. 
I want an orb for double kills. Now, when I get my bar... You know, I'm just about got my barricade back. Once I get my barricade back. If I do get in trouble, I've got a bubble. I can put my barricade. Here we go. Should be able to get some of these guys. See? I can put my barrier up. And because I've got the barrier, I can I can play a little bit more aggressively. Now, this, this guy will come down. He, he's, he, he's not going to like it. He's not going to want it, right? So, he'll come down. He'll do a bit of fire. If you're still burning him, he'll run away. And the Osteo will kill him. There we go. And that's a Vandal down as well. So, we'll push up. Now, I'm just looking for the next waves of ads. If I do get in any serious trouble, which I think I end up getting in here. Bang. I'm going to just put my bubble down. And then what I can do, you see I'm taking constant fire here. So I'm going to put that down. And that blocks their shots totally. So I can actually push back if I want. Now I think there's a couple of ads behind me. I can get back over here. Good cover. And now I can just start... Start uh, clearing out the ads. Be careful the snipers up top. And there we go, we've got the barrier champion. Now hopefully, just clear him out. Clear them. Now there is an orb up there if I really feel like I, I need it. I just take it. See, once you get... Where I am now is a good place to not have to go beyond until you've cleared out some of these. Uh, because you've got good cover. Now, if you can break this barrier shield, oh, like that, you can really punish him. And, and and now no ads will be... See, this guy here, he's... Guys at the back there, those snipers, they're, they're a problem. They are a real problem. Now, because the bar if the barrier doesn't go down there when you kill that vandal, if the barrier doesn't go down, then there still adds up. So I'm just going to have a little little scout, just a, just a little look, see if there's any heavy line about. If there isn't, it's all good. We've got 17. The way that I planned to do this... Uh, oh yeah, there was heavy up top. So you can actually jump up here and land on the platform up here, but you can see you get turning back and grab that. As soon as you come off, it goes away. So you have about four or five seconds up there. Uh, and now we're going into the boss room with 20. But what I was going to say is, we don't get heavy here. The way that I planned to do it, I, I, the Osteo Striga can do a lot of work. So you are going to want your heavy for uh, barrier champions, and yada yada, e even the wyverns. But where we're going to be, overloads definitely, overloads 100%. But where we're going to be, we're going to be in a bit of cover. We are going to be able to use the Osteo quite liberally. So, take out these four. If this guy doesn't come quickly, back away because he's going to teleport right in front of you. Every time. Go along the top here. Know that if you go to where I am now, as soon as you do what you're going to do with this this uh, overload. Uh, I'm not going to bother using any more because the grenade will kill him. If you go down here, you're starting the encounter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and I just want the ads to see me so that they all come in. Hello, live bait. And then as soon as you see them coming, we're going to go up into this spot up here. So right up into here. Now, when you're up in here, just go to the right a little bit and you can stand up here. You can move around. This kind of where I'm putting the barricade that's where you're going to take most of your fire from and this front the where the barricade is and behind us where we're going to be doing most of our shooting from now you have a bubble we're not going to use the bubble too much for uh for uh damage it's more to save us there's you can shoot from plenty of places you know you've just got to find the angle that lets you shoot through You know, if you can get them bunched up, more is the better. No, I actually thought, I thought I'd be able to kill him, but I couldn't because I couldn't get far enough forward. So I never tried to take an overload champion from there again. 
so there's two of them there I'm gonna put my barricade up there's two of them I say I never tried to take them again I think I do actually take them because I can shoot there I didn't know I could throw the grenade the grenade gets its melt on I can I can hopefully chain or steal I never tried to take them from there again until the very next time they were there and then I took them from there <laughs> So that's both the overlords down. The overlords, I just kill him with a melee and that gets me my health regeneration because I have the thing on uh, getting kills, get melee kills starts your health regeneration. Seems kind of simple really. <laughs> my health regen, my health regened when I punch them because I've got that on. <laughs> so I go up there when the overlords and, and the the overlords and the wyverns come in. As soon as I know I've took out what I need to take out, I can come down. You know, I don't even mind if it's just the ads. The problem isn't the ads. The problem isn't this hydra. The problem isn't the boss. It's just the overlords and the wyverns. So you can see here it says that we're getting more enemies coming in. Straight back up. Now, where I'm putting my barricade down is because... The clearest shot on you is from here. So if you put that down, no ad should really be able to get get the ping on. You know, you should be okay. I, I was even okay with burning my grenade a couple of times just to take out ads. I was okay with that. Because I get my... I get my barricade back from doing it. Which means I get my grenade back. Now, ideally, where you want the barrier, the the, the, the overloads, the overloads coming from. There's an overload just down to our right. I just keep seeing stuff on my there he is. Ideally, where you want that that's a good place as well. But you can shoot them through here. You know, and get a grenade. But the unfortunate thing is, if he goes back too much. He'll become immune because of the bar because of the because of the boss. I'm not I'm not gonna be able to kill him. Oh yes I am. Did I even do this run? <laughs> Is this even me? Uh I de I definitely remember when I was doing it. Uh the overload when he backs away, just stop him there. Now you can, you see what I've done there? I had to jump and push over. Uh, he, unfortunately, uh, I had to go down to finish him, which is fine. Because heavy. And I can go straight back up if I need to. Right? The unfortunate thing about where we are now, right now, is you've got to jump over like an invisible barrier to get out of there. So to actually deal damage, my suggestion to you guys is put your barricade down before you push in there and make sure you're set up to take whoever it is that you've went after, an overload champion or a wyvern. Don't go in there for the wyverns. You'll see what I do with the wyverns. But again, every time you damage... So when you the, the, the first set of adds that we got was uh, the, trans, the Belmont and we got the Ascendant Hydra. When you deal the, a, a bunch of damage to the Ascendant Hydra, he brings out the second wave. You can actually get rid of him. Just You can actually just say, right, okay, want rid of him. Don't want him floating around on the ground. This is the first boss, the first wave. Just take him, take, put the damage on him, get rid of him. You'll get another two overlords, you'll get a bunch of little adds, and then you'll still have Belmont. Now, during the GM, I took him over the other side, right? Because he's not going to be, he's still dangerous, but he's not as dangerous, we can just bring him here and we're right back at our cover. Now, you'll see when I take the barriers, same rules apply. Wherever you're shooting from, Belmont will come to the nearest, the nearest uh, entrance. I can see the Wyverns there. They do like to close the gap by teleporting quite extremely. So I'm straight back up here. Now with the Wyverns, 
you can't mess about. Now, I understood pretty quickly with the white when it comes to the wave runs. There's Belmont again. I understood quite quickly that A, I couldn't take any chances with, with dealing damage to them. And B, uh, the going out to that right hand side where I was to taking taking the overloads, it just wasn't going to cut it with with the wide runs. So I have to be a lot more careful with the wide runs. And you'll see here, they can shoot up here, uh, and they will do damage. My, bar my bar barrier's gone. Now I've got my overshield again. I can. And go out. there's one wyvern. Because I'm dealing damage, you'll see their Vex reinforcements inbound. That means I'm getting another two wyverns. But because I can actually just sit here and do this, I, I I'm going to uh, I'm going going to try and get rid of your boy. Now my it looks like my barrier's just about to go or has gone. And I'll just stick another one down, which regenerates my grenade. What we what we want is we want the, the we want the the wide runs to come to us. And the grenade between the grenade and the osteo spread that damage and it'll keep damage on all the ads. And this should take the wide run. There we go. Now there's two more wide runs in here, which means there's probably there's probably a few more harpies. Got to be very careful when you're putting down your bar bar barricade because if you're too close. It, it'll just cancel cancel the barricade so again I'm just gonna melt melt out with the osteo and there's a wide run so I think we've got one more left and then we've got uh, now we've got four barriers up and there's the other wide run throw my grenade down and just it's it's just it's a really good spot I didn't. I didn't feel too bold about about using this spot. There he is. I'll put down my barrier again. I didn't feel too bad about using it. I know this is archetypically called a, a cheese spot. I don't think so, because if it was a cheese spot, I wouldn't be taking as much damage as I did. Now, there's still a couple of these boys up, but the rest of the ads just jump over here the rest of the ads are barriers so all steel will just burn through their shields he he moved just as I was throwing that all steel doesn't really care about their shields at all and there we go so now what's left up is barriers so I was saying <laughs> the way this boss fight works there there's a barrier wherever you're shooting from What's his face? Belmont will come to the nearest entrance to where you're shooting from. So because I'm here, he's actually most of the time, he's closer to me being up to our left than he is here. Because it's it's straight line of sight. He's not going to say, oh, he's at that entrance, I'll go there. He will come to whatever is closest to get you. Now because through the wall, if I go out here and I shoot or I make you know, uh, I make any kind of, uh, any kind of boosty noises or whatever, uh, Belmont will come here, right? This is very important for the final phase, right? Because right now, all you've got, all we had, because we've got, this is all the Wyvern phase, all we had at the moment was the Ascendant Hydra, but for the last wave, which is exactly the same as this wave, it, with the exception of having Belmont. When I done the GM, I completely forgot about this. This is the way I done the last master. If I'm here with just Belmont and the barriers, if I can entice the barriers over here, Belmont won't come. He'll stay up the top of the stairs because through this wall on our left, it's closer to me than outside is for him. So this is wave three back to the overloads. We're going to have... Uh, a bunch of overloads. Now we've got, uh, I think, I think, if I remember rightly, I think we've got cursed, the cursed, uh, the exploders. Yep, here we go. 
I've got them stopped. Couldn't throw my grenade. Silly idea to try and throw the grenade through there. And, yep, yeah, fanatics, that's what they're called, right? So, got to make sure that you're putting that up at all times. And, you see here, I'm going to back away. It, it could have been bad here, because I aggravated both the overload, and I never had anything up to deal with them. So, you just got to be careful that you're constantly... Making sure you're in cover. Now the thing about uh, the thing about the togetherness is togetherness says we're just going to try and get some heavy shots on him so he doesn't get to run away. Togetherness uh, slows down your your health regeneration when you're on you know when you're away from your fire team. You will get health regeneration. It's just really really slow. Uh, so if you can stay shielded for 20, 30 seconds or whatever, your health will start coming back. It's not that you don't get any health regeneration. So if, if you're in this situation and you're here in this cover, there might come a point you see Belmont there trying to get in on it. I'm still here. There might come a situation where the overload doesn't come after you. In that case, you're going to have to go and find him. So what I suggest if that becomes an issue is just try and find out what's around first. I'm trying to get them both to come. I'm trying to get them to come to me. See, I can see that little goblin. I just want to get rid of as many of the little lads as possible. Keep that barricade up. Now, I know that most of the ads that I can see around are going to be red bar. But I know that there is one overload. And I'm trying to find out where he is. Because he's obviously... He's not wanting any of it. There's just a normal red bar ad. The more of them I can take, the better. There he is. So I should try and get him to come back over. He didn't. He went over there. Stop him, hopefully, with a grenade. Put osteo on him. And then... Just finish them off. There we go. That's all the overload. So you do have a couple of different angles on the ads. So we're going to come down here because I know that a lot of these ads are just hiding around here. And there we go. Now I thought for a second I could die there. That's why I popped my bubble. That is the, it's why I saved my bubble. I don't use it for damage. You can do enough damage. I saved the bubble in case that stuff happens because dying at that point would have been hyper annoying. I would have been so annoyed. So I'm just going to look for some heavy, see if there's anything else about. Uh, and I want him to destroy my bubble. There you go. Now what I can do is use the osteo just to, just to, just to bring him down a tad. Uh, I don't want I don't want to give him you see there I don't want to give him too much and if I need to I'll put a grenade up on him if I need to but only if osteo doesn't start stinging but I can see you can see there if you've noticed anything about osteo the more ticks you get higher damage they do per tick so there we go that is so now we've got the last the final wave coming in which i went straight up because the final wave put that down to get the overshield the final wave is uh everything's here you've got the mini hydra you've got uh wyverns you've got barrier champions you know everything's going to be here so what we're trying to do now what i found quite weird was the ball wouldn't get through there but the Osteo Strieger, I think, does. I'm trying to just attract, because the one thing I don't want to have to do is go out and fight the live runs. See, the ball wouldn't get through there, but the Strieger would, and you see it's applied the burn effect to the other goblins. So I'm just kind of... Be careful, the boss is there. 
Just gotta put a little bit of burn on the boss. And you see there that the osteo will go through, but not to the point where we can do sustained damage. So now up with the barricade, now I've got to find the wide ones, try and entice them over to me. And that 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 was kind of the problem. Oh, it's what I'm on about. It's not the wide runs. What? Why did I think it was the wide runs? I thought I'd just kill four overloads. Did I only kill two? Okay. Do I even know what I'm doing at this point? <laughs> I think at this point there's two overloads behind me. Yeah. So we got one stopped. And then put the osteo. And then one, two. And then did the other one come from... Where did the, the other one come from? Same place. I th Man, do you know what the problem is? The problem here, I think, is I've done two runs back to back last night. So I've done this run and I've done my themed run. I think that's the problem. I'm getting my, my themed run mixed up with this run. I'm normally not this bad at forgetting what I've done. Uh, my apologies. Uh, so now I know I've got one, over <laughs> one overload up. And just a bunch of red bar ads. So we've got to find the overload. Just put that back. Oh, just put the barricade behind me. There he is. He is not in for a good time. Now, it was unfortunate that I, it stopped him just before he come over at the grenade. But So now what I'll do is Osteo Striga time. Break some of these enemies. Just keep looking. Make sure you check around. So when I get rid of... Uh, when I get rid of Belmont this time, then we're going to get the last wave of... <laughs> oh, man. Then we'll get the last wave of... Hydras. Uh, Hydras. Wyverns. Jesus. Get a grip. It's all been a long day. <laughs> it hasn't really. <laughs> uh, so, once we get rid of him... You see he's not got a lot of health left. Then we're going to get our... Our wave of wyverns. Then we'll get Belmont. Then we'll get the Ascendant Hydra. Now I think... I'm scared to say what I think because I can't remember. I think I might get rid of the Ascendant Hydra. Just to get the four wyverns out. Uh, so Belmont's going to uh, do it do the off. I was I kept jumping up here. You've seen earlier I tried to do that. I was trying to see if I could get an angle to shoot to shoot over at the the wide runs, see if I could take one at least one of the wide runs before he got out here. But again, when you're when you're messing about with wide runs, you don't want to be messing about with wide runs. So there's ads coming in here. I always kinda look for the tendrils, the kind of top of the wide runs heads. So I'm just going to... I want rid of this Transcendent Hydra, but also I want to get a grenade on on the Hydras, uh, on the Wyverns, as soon as I can, and just start weakening them. There we go, there's one. I'll get my barrier down, which empowers, empowers my grenade, and then Osteo should apply the burn. And that's one Wyvern. Now we haven't got rid of, we haven't done enough damage, I don't think, to the Hydra to get rid of. Uh, just looking to see what's actually damaging us from over there. I haven't done enough damage, I don't think, to the the Ascendant uh, Hydra. There we go, second Wyvern. And just see how much Osteo we can keep putting on them. And there we go, that's the second Wyvern, so now... We're going to get rid of this Hydra, hopefully. And then that bring, that should bring out... Again, make sure you know where you are. I've got to get back. Push back away from there. And make sure I can put that up. Uh, we'll get rid of this, this uh, Ascendant Hydra. And that will then bring out the next wave of, of Wyverns. 
He's almost gone. Vex reinforcements inbound. Now, you can see that there's enemies somewhere here that are on the same level as me. Let's see if I can get some melt on these little guys. There we go. Two goblins down. Put my, bar my banner up. There's a wyvern. I'm just going to... Because that grenade, it's, it's not going to kill him. You see there, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to jump and put sustained fire on the, the wyvern. Not a good idea. But it took out a goblin, so... But yeah, as I was saying, you, you see there the osteo doing a bit through the gap. And I put a wall up. Yeah, you can see that there's enemies that are on the same level as me. That's the barriers outside. Anything in here that you see that's on the same level is the barriers. And just get my barrier back and we just want to keep this sustained fire. Who's going to die? You're going to die. That's the other two wide ones down, right? So, there should be no ads now. Get the, get the melee on. I've still got a melee I can throw, which will start health regeneration. Just have a look what we got. There we go. So, we've got my full health back. Now, all that should be left is the barriers and Belmont. So, I'm just having a look. There's still a couple of other ads. Get that burn shared. And because I've got major spec, e easy, easy shield break. And there's the barrier gone. Now we're going to do that. So, if we're here, Belmont should go over the other side. He shouldn't come over here. And it should allow us to take out the barriers quite safely from here. And just entice them. And because... It's always a good idea as much as possible. You see how I've moved? Because I've moved, Belmonts came over to the mid. The minute I'm not around here, the minute I go over here, I need to stay more to the left. I need to entice the champions to come. So just make sure, yep, Belmonts up there. And there's a barrier. Might be able to take him from here. Because on the master... With with Osteo Strieger, once we break, once we put you know that damage on, we all, we only really need to hit them a couple of times. Uh, and we just want to try and get this. Now with me shooting, Belmont might come over here. Yep. So now I'm over over here. I need to try and find that last barrier. Now we'll get Belmont to come back, which should leave. The barrier up there so it's a good way of getting the barriers where you need them as to you know the, I didn't do this in the Grandmaster because I was worried of dying all the time but you you can juke them from left to right back to front but there are, it doesn't really matter where you end up putting whatever you end up putting and we'll just start hitting them with big heavy damage keep Belmont in one place and this place is possibly the best place because as, if you're in the center, you, you as long you can take out the barriers with and keep Belmont over here because obviously he thinks he's closer to you here than he is if he comes over to where the barriers are. As long as you stay to the left hand side of that little opening. And there we go. That is the run. That is my solo master. Quite straightforward. I got I got decent rewards uh and as i said I, I i also have the i also have the themed run for this week recorded and it is vault of glass this week so hopefully and it and it kind of eats into what was in the twab because well i'm not going to give too much away but i use a weapon that they've buffed or an archetype that they've buffed so thanks a lot for watching guys i hope you enjoyed the run even for the the subtle mistakes i made <laughs> remembering which run this was uh take care of yourselves guys and i'll see you in the next video